this year. Thank you, Mr. Rose. Uh, Javier, we're going to skip over and then followed up by Matthew Kaiser. Great. Thank you. Um, and uh, good afternoon, Senators. Thank you for having me today. I've shortened my, my statement just a bit to try to respect everyone's time. Uh, my name is Javier Arnado. I'm a licensed attorney in Minnesota. And prior to moving here, I worked in sales and compliance uh, for a commercial cannabis company in Denver, Colorado. It was one of the most awe-inspiring uh, times in my life. And to be able to work with such bright minds and to witness democracy and liberty at work. I'm here today on behalf of the Minnesota Campaign for Full Legalization to advocate for ending cannabis prohibition. Legalizing cannabis will serve the state of Minnesota in promoting social justice and establishing the regulatory framework to have a safe market for consumer access. Uh, to the social justice point, uh, many have spoken before, but I'll just say there is no place for this in a free society. The current enforcement model is institutionalizing racism by disproportionately impacting minority populations for nonviolent behavior. That poses little societal risk. The effect, this affects tens of thousands of Minnesotans. There is no place for this, and legalization will lead to an equitable reformation of our criminal justice system and a more effective use of police resources. To the consumer access point, currently the most dangerous thing about cannabis is purchasing cannabis. Unregulated sales create a market with easy access for those under 21. It promotes exposure to illicit substances and violence, as well as tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars of tax, do of, of tax revenue not being realized. Legalizing and regulating cannabis will allow for a market that ensures consumer safety, reduces minors' access to cannabis, and creates a boon of tax revenue for the state of Minnesota. This is not a novel premise. 11 states have legalized. 22 have a medical model. Not a single one has repealed. California did this in 1994. That's 25 years this has been happening, and not a single one has, has repealed. Legal access is supported by the majority of Minnesotans. States like California are pioneering reformation of criminal justice system and war on drugs. Colorado has raised over $200 million in cannabis tax revenue since 2014 for a statewide school construction project. There's also been no increase in average annual traffic fatalities. In fact, the percentage of traffic fatalities that can actually be attributed to cannabis impairment dropped 33% from 2016 to 2017. There is no evidence to show that cannabis legalization has created a less safe environment in Colorado. The people of this state want legal access to cannabis, and the time is now. Cannabis legislation is closer to panacea than pandemic, and a shift from criminalization to commercialization should reflect that. Prohibition is the problem not cannabis. Full legalization is the only solution. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 